Okay, so here's how long your scarf should be. Um, I know I said go up to 375, but I just did 500 because I thought that would make it longer because 375 to me was way too short. So you can just go up to like 375 or just go as long as you want. I just did up to 500 just to make it longer. Okay, so now we are going to bind off. One minute, let me pick this up and put this on the table so move so keep it out of the distance so I don't hit it and then what we're gonna do now one minute where's my other needle oh there's my other needle sorry what we're gonna do now is we are going to bind off one minute, sorry. Ah, sorry. Didn't mean to bump the camera. You're gonna move the yarn behind the needle. Let me move this so you can see. You're gonna move the yarn behind the needle, and then we're going to knit two stitches. And then put the left needle into the first stitch and pull the first stitch over the second stitch like this. And you're going to repeat. And now, now what you do now is you knit. You just bound off a stitch. And what you're going to do is you're going to knit the next stitch. So there are two. And then you take the right left needle, put it, it'll put it into the um, stitch behind this one, one right. You're going to take this needle, put it, put it into the stitch behind. Um, this one right here and then you're going to pull the stitch over the needle like that. You're going to keep doing this until you have only one stitch on your needle. Sorry if I sound and sorry if I sound a little funny. Um, I actually um, just got a little weepy, so um, so I'm sorry. Okay, so you're, you now that you now you have one stitch in your needle, you're gonna pull your needle oh, to make a big loop like this. And then one minute, let me get scissors so I can come prepared. And now you are going to take this string right here and watch your fingers if you cut. Snip the yarn and then pull it. Th pull the string through the loop and then you pull it and then you've created a knot. Whoops, sorry, didn't mean to hit the camera. And now, one minute. Sorry, my yarn got tangled in my scarf. And what you're going to do now is we are going to weave in our ends. And 
I am using a H-5 point millimeter crochet hook. I don't know if you can see that. It says H- sorry, my camera's blurry. You cannot even see that. I don't know why. It's an H-5 um, point zero zero millimeter crochet hook. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get started by... Whoops. Oh yeah, you were supposed to cut um, cut the uh, and also you need to cut the other thing of yarn too that you used to for the stripes, and then you're to then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull the loop a little bit like this, and you stick the string through so then it doesn't come undone, and you've created a knot like that. See, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get started on. Weaving in our ends. And warning, this video may be long, so I am sorry. Oh, my yarn looks bright orange in the camera, but it's actually a pumpkin orange. Is ow, but camera, camera always has weird color changes. And just don't, you don't have to weave the whole string in, just weave as much as you want, you can in, and then just snip the yarn. Sorry, I had the giggles. And then we are going to weave the other strings in. There. Yeah, we're gonna, and then you're gonna let me. Then, if you have any loose ends that you forgot that you have, not now. Just weave them in. Sorry. I'm probably going to have to start this over. <laughs> ah! Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so now that you're done with your, um, I hope you, okay, so now your scarf is finished. Um, I hope you guys like this tutorial. Wow, my yarn looks kind of like red and blue on the camera, but it's actually teal and, and pumpkin orange. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, thank you for watching. If you guys have any requests for knitting videos, please comment down below. And, um, I will try my best to either find the pattern or if I have the pattern, I'll try my best to do it so I could teach you guys. So, thank you for watching. Bye.